everybody, my name is Mark and this is Why I Hate the World. How's it going? So, uh, last week um, I was on Reddit and I saw this thing where uh, Glenn Beck went on this sort of video tirade, this like monologue against Oprah because she went on CNN and, and compared the shooting of Trayvon Martin to the murder of Emmett Till. And he had this huge ass monologue saying how Oprah disgusts him and he's a racist and she's a racist and all this other bullshit. And it really was kind of getting my goat. So I thought I'd make a video about that. This is my other cat. Say hello, everybody. This is Spectre. Hello, everybody. All right, down you go. So anyway, um, basically, for those of you who don't know the story behind Emmett Till, he was a kid in uh, Mississippi in 1955 and um he was basically lynched and murdered and that's a, not really lynched but he was like beat up and like shot and thrown into a river to drown with like a heavy thing tied around his neck because he whistled at a white woman basically is what happened so um anyhow it went on to become one of the motivating events behind the civil rights movement right and um people that were caught and there were two guys that were um, arrested and put on trial for the murder of Emmett Till and they were found um, they were acquitted and several years later they both came out um, in a magazine interview and said that they did it and they couldn't go to jail because of double jeopardy right and that was like a serious fucking tragedy you know this is true shit this is one of the, the one of the things that got um, people motivated to go out in the in the civil rights movement and stuff like that right so um anyway so last week Oprah went on t uh, CNN during an interview and she compared the shooting of Trayvon Martin to Emmett Till and Glenn Beck went crazy right so now I think um you know first off I want to say I think Oprah actually um has a point you know if you look at it in real life there actually was like there's a lot of similarities between the two cases. You know, they were both about black, you know, youths, right? I think Emmett Till was 15 and Trayvon was 17, right? And they were both visiting relatives in a town that they didn't, you know, know. And um, they both basically crossed a white person, <laughs> you know, even though I, I love how all of a sudden it's like everybody's saying, Zimmerman isn't really white, you know, and all that shit, but whatever. And they, and their, their killers were both um, found not guilty by all white juries, you know, acquitted by all white juries. And, uh, you know, so I can see why somebody would make the, um, you know, comparison there, especially considering how people demonize Trayvon Martin, you know. And anyway, so the point is, is that, you know, Glenn Beck loses his shit and he calls her disgusting and he calls her a racist and all this other crap, right? And I think that's an example of, um, you know, it's an example of the right-wing establishment nowadays that how they kind of they're bending civil rights to fit their own like to fit their own agenda you know like Glenn Beck's audience they're, they're the people who took Zimmerman's side in this in that fiasco essentially you know and one of the things that they've asserted since the beginning was that this particular shooting had nothing to do with race okay they kept saying that this has nothing to do with race you know and the thing is, is that back, you know, unlike back in the 50s, right, because if you look at the time that the media coverage during Emmett Till, it was like, you know, totally fucking racist. Like, I, I guess the, the sheriff at the time, like, used to welcome all the black people into the, into the, um, the courthouse and he'd say, welcome niggers, you know, like all loud. And it was like completely blatant and in your face and all that shit. Well, they can't really do that today, right, because, you know, times have changed, right? So they kind of cloak it you know you'll notice like in the in the coverage of Trayvon Martin like and the people that supported Zimmerman especially you know especially like in blog posts and people who make videos and stuff like that they cloak it in the language of law and order you know so they can't straight out say oh that nigga needed shooting right but they what they do what they did do is they tried to slander Trayvon Martin they tried to make him look like a criminal you know they post like there's a I guess there's a picture of him where he's sort of like making a thug pose or something you know like a rap artist kind of thing Right, and then they put that up saying that. So he's like a gangbanger and all that. And then there's one where he's like exhaling smoke, you know, and they put that one on the internet and try to make him look like he's a drug addict, even though there's no context behind these, you know, you don't really know 
the context behind these pictures. I mean, he could just have been like, you know, it could have been a fucking Halloween party for all we know. All right, he could have, you know, maybe he really liked rap music. Maybe he wanted to be a rapper. Maybe that's, who the fuck knows? I mean, it's like his pic, there's like pictures of him taking selfies of himself with like a fucking, you know, cell phone and shit. And then, you know, trying to make himself look tough like, you know, teenagers are wont to do, right? And then everybody was putting these on the internet saying that he was like a fucking thug and he's a criminal. And then like, um, like I went to free, like I guess on Free Republic there was like this big article about how he like fucking got busted with burglary tools or some shit a year before. And then some people saying that, you know, I think he stole the fucking Skittles or whatever. It's like, it has nothing to fucking do with anything. It's just there to like, to, to, it's there to slander his character so that people won't feel so bad when, you know, an obvious fucking um, case of misjust. You know what I mean? Like, it, like when, when Zimmerman gets off, like, they won't feel like that, that there was any injustice done, you know? It's, it's basically taking the language of racism and cloaking it in the language of law and order, you know? And it's, it's fucking really bullshit. I mean, I don't know. And, the, and what it does, what it does is that, you know, because I notice this a lot, especially on the internet. You know, the, I go to a lot of websites where I, where I debate with, like, you know, racist people and conservatives. And, and every once in a while, especially just conservatives, mainly economic conservatives. But once in a while, you get one of these sort of backwards fucking racist people that, like, got booted out of, like, you know, some other website. And then, and then they come here. You know, like, there's a few of them that I go to. Um, and you'll see shit like this, like... Uh, what, what it is is that is that when you point out something that they do as racist then they try to turn it around on you and call you the racist like saying you're dropping the race card shit like that you know that's something that we got a lot during the Trayvon Martin debate you know that he wasn't you know he wasn't the victim anymore he was the attacker okay that's something else like you know Zimmerman was defending himself right you know, Martin was a thug and, and all this other shit, and they tried to make him look like he was a fucking gangbanger, running around speculating that he was robbing houses, you know, speculating that he stole the fucking Skittles and iced tea, you know, speculating he was a drug addict with no real proof, no proof at all. And even if, the, even if that shit was true, it had nothing to do with the shooting, right? And it's because that's the tactic they're using. They're, they're, they're trying to reverse it on you. Like, if you bother to call something out as racist, suddenly you're the one that's the fucking racist, you know? Like, you're, you're, pulling, you're, fucking, you're pulling the race card, and you should be the one to be ashamed of it. And it's just fucking bullshit. I mean, it's an example of how the racist right wing in this country have kind of tried to appropriate the civil rights movement, you know? And that's why Glenn Beck can go on and call, you know, Trayvon Martin a thug and, and be disgusted by fucking... Oprah for making the comparison between two similar shootings, right? And then at the, in the same breath, kind of like, you know, hold Martin Luther King in, the same, in like high esteem and like, he was a great leader and all this shit. And Oprah, you disgust me because, you know, because he's trying to turn it around. It, it, it's really fucking sad. And, you know, it's the same kind of hypocritical bullshit that you get from conservative Christians, right? They'll, um, you know, like when they, when they'll, conservative Christians will claim to be oppressed when somebody sues to stop them from using the law to impose their religion on other people, right? And I think it's very telling that these, you know, more often than not, these are the same kinds of people, you know, the, the, they're very, you know, um, the old fashioned, the conservative Christian kind of values voters, Second Amendment people. You know, these are usually the same people, the same people that defended, you know, Zimmerman and stuff like that, and are also like, you know, it's it's the same fucking group, you know, and they're just like this hate the same like group of like core hypocrites, you know. That's I guess there's no other way to describe them. I mean, they're people that talk about personal responsibility, but they have like the highest rates of like unemployment and welfare in their states, you know, where the with the states where they're in charge or. They advocate family values, but their fucking they their divorce rate is the as high as anybody else's, you know. And when you call them out on being racist, they try to turn around and say you're the fucking racist, you know. That, I mean, it's bullshit. I guess what I'm trying to say in short is fuck these people and fuck Glenn Beck and Oprah's fucking right. <laughs> I guess that's all there really is to it. And it, it's really fucking sad this the the state of just discourse on race relations in this country is just.